Welcome back, Random TV Reviews, your girl, Lynette. And it's your boy, Stanley. Coming in with this week's Love and Marriage Huntsville. It yeah. is Threats, Lies, and Video Tapes. Let's go ahead and do the YouTube thing. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Consider yeah. hitting that subscribe button. Rate the video, thumbs up or thumbs down. At this point, it don't even matter. You've already been counted Already anyway. been counted. Um, if you come back every week, then we appreciate y'all. And like we've been saying from the beginning of this series, if you want to keep up with our day-to-day -day life, make sure you're following us on Instagram. And also, if lifestyle vlogs are your thing, make sure you're um, you're following us on Life With Us TV. Exactly. Here on YouTube. Let's go ahead and get into this. We're going to try to make this quick because we've been dodging storms all, all day. All day, So man. for all of you all that are in the path of this storm that's coming through this week, be careful, prepare, because I love you all, and I want to see y'all back in next week, you know? So... Huh. Huh. Can I say this right off the bat? I told my husband that it looks as if the Scots are over this TV show. Yeah. Like, it's almost like the Scots cannot even fake it anymore. And I'm not saying yeah. that they've ever faked it, but it's almost like, look, I can't wait till this contract, contract is, is over with, so because I'm done with life. this. Yeah. And you can see it. Like, I looked at Maurice and I was like, Maurice looked like he could be <laughs> painting. He could be hanging pictures on the wall. He could be doing anything but filming for this show right now and maybe maybe it's just my perception yeah, yeah. i don't know but we're gonna start off with letitia letitia had her what was it go girl unlimited and she was doing her speech and whatnot and she struggled a little bit and we've always been very knowledgeable about the fact that letitia said that her strong suit is not public speaking, speaking or mm -hmm. speaking in general so this is a big step for her to go out <clears throat> and actually just be in the midst of people where she knows she is about to put her struggle on front street did she struggle a little bit yes she did but i'm so glad that she conquered that fear yeah, yeah. and put herself out there to develop to develop herself her husband ended up showing up because we saw yeah, last come week through that Marceau kind of like picked a fight with her last week yeah. to kind of get her off balance. And I'm like, Marceau, why would why'd you, you do that? that? Yeah, why like, would you mess with her like that before she got to go speak? Gave her some coffee with some <laughs> yeah. liquor in it. And I'm like, okay, well, maybe that would have helped the nerves or whatever. But I'm like, did you come with this heavy discussion right before yeah. she had something to do? But it seems like her presentation went over well. Yeah. The crowd was receptive of her. Kimmy came, her mother came, and her friend, I think her friend name was April. Thanks, so. all. Came to support. Now, after it was all said and done, you know, everybody's giving her, you know, your congratulations, good job, da 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 da. And here come Miss Wanda with the boo. <laughs> Miss Wanda is the auntie at the cookout that you just reach over and you just be like, Would you shut the buck up? No. She here with that other dude that she said she wasn't gonna mess with no more. And, ask, and, ask about it. And would you shut the buck up? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, the first thing she does is, and the camera, they're so shady. They're going to pan down to Marcel's finger as soon as he came down. Yeah. Um, came and sat down, showing that he doesn't have a wedding ring. Okay, we have established that Marcel don't really wear a <laughs> wedding ring. No. I mean, why are we back here again? Yeah, we don't, we don't so, been on this road. Here's Wanda. I'm glad you came, but where's your rain, my soul? <laughs> he was like, mm-mm. And then she kind of tried to get it started with Kimmy, but Kimmy was like, uh-uh. Uh, not, not today. today, Satan. Nah. I'll deal with you another day because this ain't what it's all about. So, cool. We're going to move on from that because didn't too much going on. So, over there at the Holtz, um, Kimmy's, I mean, not Kimmy, but uh, Mel's mom hadn't been over to see the baby in a while because she had been under the weather or not. So, she came over to cook or bring food or something like that and to enjoy her grandbabies, right? So this is where we get the conversation about Mel's mom dating one of the Scott's brothers. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And there was a threat on social media that blah, 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 blah. I'm going to release the tape. tape. <laughs> and because I'm, like I told y'all, I don't go searching for the stuff, but if people drop it in my inbox, I look at it. I don't know if anyone actually did a threat of a sex tape or not, or was yeah. there a threat put out there, or was there something put out there and you just ran with what you thought that person may have meant? I don't know. Can some of you all clarify that for me? Like, yeah. did Marso or Tisha, one of them, did they actually mm -hmm. say, I'm going to drop out? a sex tape, or did they just say, I'm going to drop a tape <clears throat> of your 
But this is the way I see it. I mean, like, she's a grown woman. I, you do what you want to do. It appears that she's embarrassed on the show about this mention of this sex tape. But even if it's true, I mean, shoot. That's like nothing in today's world. Matter of fact, it puts you, you on the map. points. I mean, look at Kim Kardashian. She got on the map for a sex tape with Ray J. So sex tapes is to come up these days. So, mm -hmm. so release it if you do get it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> so they over there discussing that and... The mama was like, no, I never dated him. We did become close, and I was a good friend to him. Because evidently when the Holtz and the Scots had the business show, they, um, it seems like the mom was maybe like, if she wasn't an official administrator or something like that, she kind of just took on the role of doing some of the administrative stuff. And she had direct contact with this brother. So they became mm -hmm. kind of cool. But she said it wasn't like that. I kind of beg to differ, but it is what it is. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And like my husband said, if y'all smashed or there's a yeah. sex tape out there, get ahead of it. Like Funky yeah, Diva exactly. said, don't let nobody spray you with your own tea. Exactly. Put it out there yourself. <laughs> so then we have, of course, Martel, he's having a conversation and he was like, um, Wanda, you know, there's a whole lot of threats and mama's being brought up into something, but Wanda was the one who really did the threaten threat. me. She now, I agree with yeah, you. Yeah, I'm she over that. Yeah, threaten. she did. Yeah, she did. <laughs> but she said it was the weed. Yeah. <laughs> and then she said, no, 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 it, it was, was the alcohol. <laughs> And then she said, you know, I wasn't going to do nothing to you. I just, you know, I was just going to talk. This with my mouth. No. Like, nah, nah, no. nah. So he was like, <laughs> later on, what had came to be about was we have Siddharth. <clears throat> And y'all know Siddharth is always the person that tries to bring peace. Yeah. But it never actually happens the way that he thinks it's yeah. going to happen. And matter of fact, it just blows up. And you're just standing there holding the bag like... Say, execution good, results always bad. Because <laughs> he can get them together. He can get them together. <laughs> he can get them together. But when they just get together, it just never just come together right. <laughs> uh -uh. So Maurice is there and they're having a conversation about the last time they were together where Martel called Marceau a bitch. Me. And he was he said that Martel threatened his life. And he pretty much said something to the fact that maybe you don't like living here. Yeah, and I and don't I know. Don't I don't know if you can deem it as a threat. I mean, because he can go, all the cops. Yeah, it can go so many different ways. It really can. Yeah. So maybe there are some missing pieces that they... Added out on here that was added to you don't want to be here no more. Marceau, drop it. Let yeah, no. Yeah, let us know some more added to that because just saying you don't want to be here no more isn't a thing of. A, it's I, not, would, I wouldn't deem it as a threat unless you added something to it. You can deem it as a threat, but it's not clear enough that I can say you threatened me. Yeah. So if you're a smart person, as Mr. Martel Holt is, I can say something. And you can run with the narrative and you way you want, any way yeah. you want to. And then if you say I threatened you, I could say I didn't threaten you. I just said that maybe you just don't you like living, living here no more. Maybe you want to leave. And so yeah. you're the one that take it. And take then, it as I want to take you out. <laughs> but Marceau called the cops. So now it's what did you perceive versus what was delivered? One of those freaking things. Yeah. So of course, the dark was like, I'm gonna bring y'all together because we're gonna have to yeah, figure out a way. Go. Because I think that y'all relationship can be salvaged. I don't think so. Yeah. Because he really wanted them to be cordial. So. I, I, and like, no, nah, it's beyond cordial. And yeah. to be honest, <laughs> y'all are old enough that you can be cordial. Y'all can speak. Because real talk, y'all going to rub shoulders. Y'all are in the same industry. Like y'all going to be at the same places, rubbing shoulders with the same people. Nah, so you're going to have to. You're going to have to put on that, hey, how you doing? And keep it moving. Because even Mel said that. Mel said, I'm the kind of person that, yeah, when we when it's time for business, I know how to turn it on. Game on. Hey, 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 hey. Boom. I ain't got to speak to you no more. That's pretty much what they're going to have to do in a in a smaller town like Huntsville. Like, it's not small, small. But in a, a intimate town as um, such. So, Siddharth so gets them together, right? At the place that the last incident happened, which was... Strike one with well, strike one right there. They should have went to a different location. Mm, I don't even know. I don't even care about the location. <laughs> but as soon as Martel walked in there, of course the music changed. They made yeah. it all dramatic. And Marcel tried to give him a handshake. Was like, "How you doing, brother?" And Martel like, was mm -hmm. like, "Mm mm." And I can't even say I'm mad and, at it because and that's why I said that they can't be cordial. Yeah. Because at this point, neither one of them was gonna be fake. 
So being cordial to somebody that you don't like is fake. I and, don't and, know. That's grown. Nah. It's being grown. I don't think they can do it. How many times you done been in a situation with somebody that you ain't really cool with, but the atmosphere warrants that you have to be cordial so that you not the oh, I, oh, I still act like I don't see him. That's what I'm talking That's about. That's cordial to me. I don't. No, nah, cordial to me is like, hey, how you doing? All right, let's if, let's do this business. If it comes down to it, and it's obvious that we're not speaking, I will have to speak so that we can just push this thing along. If we have business, I will send somebody else in my place. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. The, the place that they are at, I don't think they're the place that it can be cordial. It's always gonna turn into a fight. Well. Pretty much that's how it ended. Like, yeah. there was nothing resolved. <laughs> yeah. And then I'm going to tell you this. Martel did threaten Marcel when he left up out of there. Yeah, he did. Yeah, he now, did. Now, that, that was time. a real threat. Yeah. When he, what did he say? Pretty much he was like, you better be glad that I I'm talking with words and I'm not taking action. Back and taking action. So I said, oh, yeah, that was a threat. Real yeah. talk. So, Marcel, you can call the cops on him now if you want to and lay on that arm. Um, and, and this is the way I see it. You know, maybe because I'm, you know, I'm 40 years old and you just... Ain't got time for the bus get. Like I told y'all last week, I ain't got time to force nobody to be my friend. And I think that's where Marso is. Like, I'm grown. I got stuff to lose. And trying to mend this relationship with this guy that don't want it is going to end up a fight. It's going to be a fight. And they're going to end up losing everything. Especially mm -hmm. in the climate we in right now. And that's a... Oh, they would love to use him as an example. <laughs> as two rich guys fighting over nothing. For real. I mean, yeah. it's, and, and at this point, like we said, we don't even know what's real, what's fake, what's manufactured. It's like... What's hyped up. Yeah, because it, it, it makes no sense because uh, uh, Mel has said maybe we was number friends in the first place when they was at the house. I was like, that's that. I hate when people do that. Yeah. Because y'all were friends and just something happened that could not be resolved. Doesn't mean that y'all won't have a friends. It's just this little thing y'all got that's going on that we don't know the full story. Got y'all on the own network. Putting, all, a. putting your whole business out there and then getting mad at us because we talk about it. It's crazy. Yeah, I, I, it's crazy. It's crazy. But has it gotten too personal? Absolutely. Yeah. When you live in a climate where any anything that you want to expose is literally at a click of a button. Yeah. So if you're in your feelings and you're mad and you have something that's going to hurt the person, you literally can hit send or post mm -hmm. or double tap or retweet. It can hurt that person instantly. So has that happened? Absolutely. I have seen some stuff and I'm like, y'all need to stop this bull. And, and that's the thing and I need to about the, media. Um, Yeah, and they would talk about um, vloggers getting a hold of Martel's um, tax, tax records, records and things like that. I'm like, and Marcel said I didn't do that. That would require me having a vagina, having a whole vagina. Yeah, <laughs> I don't have. I didn't do that. But they all have kind of just just did some things, some more than others. But I I, I don't I, know. That's the one thing about social media has turned grown folks back to high school kids, man. Bullets. That's the stuff that we did back in school. Thank God we didn't have Facebook back then because it would have been crazy. Yeah. We just would yeah. just talk skit about somebody else behind their back and then they find out about it because the person you told end up going telling them and then y'all fighting over nothing. Yeah. And then one thing that I did not like when Martel was saying that because Miss Wanda is comfortable talking about them the way that she is, that must mean that the Scots are talking trash about them behind their back. No. What? No. Seriously? Do you think that Mama Wanda don't have an opinion? She got an opinion of her own. She don't, she don't need nobody to back her up. And she don't need nobody to talk skit. No. I mean, look look how she doing Kimmy right now. Yeah. Like, she is picking something with Kimmy. And even Letitia was like, oh, no, 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 no. Because <laughs> I'm not going to get it between my sister and my mom. Yeah. Like, I'm like, no, I, I don't agree with you on that one, dog. But I'm just hoping... Because last season, the storyline was Martell and his cheating. Cheating, 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 cheating. Mm -hmm. Now, we started out with the repair for the first yeah. couple of episodes. I'm hoping that the rest of this season, the focus is not on the Scots versus the Holtz. Because yeah. that ain't what I want to see. Nah, that ain't. Yeah, I ain't here for that narrative. No. No. So, 
So let's talk about something on a lighter note. Um, Monster seems to be enjoying Huntsville. Yeah. And he said he's he got some friends. Got some yeah. friends. And he yeah. actually likes it a little better. So I'm so glad yeah. that that transition was easy for them. Because the transition on a with a school age child is really never easy. It You have to learn new friends. Yeah. If you're in sports, you have to dive into that. It, it's it's a whole lot, but he and, seems and, to be doing well. And Kyle was taking it pretty good. I yeah. said her name right. Kyle, yeah, Kyle well, yeah. yeah Kyle was taking, taking it, it really good. But then Maurice, uh. Maurice, so you ain't had to put the put the people's <laughs> business out here like that. Because Maurice had an opportunity to talk to Kyle well, while Monster went off. I guess he went to get himself together or whatnot. And Kyle and her husband Zave seem to still be open to the fact of moving to Huntsville. Okay, cool. After that was all over with, Mr. Maurice gonna say, yeah, <laughs> Zave has always been cool. You know, yeah. you're a good guy. He used to date my sister. We could have lived without uh, knowing yeah. that. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so really, like your sister, hold on, let, let me break this down. Yeah, yeah. Your ex-wife married her past sister-in-law's dude. Yeah. But just, but then he say high school, so kind of high school don't really count account. It kind of do, but you can kind of slide that by the count up all for you. <laughs> but but real talk, from a person that lives in a small town in Virginia, it happens. That ain't even a thing yeah, no more. Happens. Like yeah, when I go back home, I'm so sick and tired of seeing the same recycled dicks and cooches. I don't know what mm -hmm. this. You see well, this they, one well, with well, that they one? Well, ain't got many, so that's why it's recycled. That's why they need to get out of there. Yeah, exactly. Every time you go down there, you be like, I thought he was with. Such now he such. with her. Now they don't swapped. And now they both got kids. <laughs> and then he... Yeah. And then they end up back with the person they was fighting over and with in high school. I'm like, y'all got to get out. It's more penises in the sea. <laughs> Man, that's actually a movie right there. Mm. <laughs> the recycled penis and vaginas Good in the country. La, 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 la. <laughs> Yeah, so I could live without doing that, Maurice. I was sitting there like Stella said, pause that real quick. Yeah, so, I had to think. I had to process that one. I was like, oh, okay, okay, okay. Cool deal. So, and like, y'all good with that? Okay. Well, if okay. it's high school, we, yeah. she probably don't even care. But it's still kind of if you it's still if you awkward. if you yeah. say it out loud, it's still kind of weird. Yeah, it's still awkward and weird. Say, yeah. Oh, my ex, my ex wife married my my sister's ex dude. Yeah. yeah. You know, right. I've been knowing him since been pimping since been pimping. Yeah. Okay, whatever. So we see Marceau. Marceau is over there with um, Jalen because Jalen actually slid back into town or I don't know if he was out of town. Maybe I don't know. Maybe, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> but Kimmy did not think that he was going to make it to her birthday dinner. And Maurice surprised Kimmy by letting Jalen come in with a cake. And my my good friend go text me last time about saw. I know that cake from anywhere. That's a Publix cake. That's a good cake. I said, go ahead now. Stop it. But, um, yeah, Jalen came in. And so Jalen has been working with Marceau and um, over there at Black getting some things straight and whatnot. And as they're talking about commercial development and things like that, in walks Melon. Melon. And I'm like, okay, so it seems like next week is when they're really going to bring up, bring the heat up because this yeah. week wasn't nothing. Nah. But next week, we're going to have Mel, and then we're going to have Kimmy that's going to shut Miss Wanda all the way. way down. Yeah. And then I'm hoping that that doesn't become a thing either. But yeah, at fight. the same yeah. time, if anybody was to be able to shut her down a little bit, it's going to be Kimmy. You think so? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Kimmy time enough for Miss Wanda. Now, I love me some Miss Wanda, but Miss Wanda be doing the most. Yeah, but I, like you said, I hope it don't cause no conflict, because that's going to cause conflict that's between family. her and Tish, too. Yeah, that's, that's they, Thanksgiving yeah, that, and yeah, Christmas. Uh, yeah, that, that just messed up all the family plans if they... Yeah. So, this is all we got. We try yeah. to make something out of nothing, because they ain't give us nothing, and I'm over them fighting, and I'm over talking about who should have came to what event and not what event. And yeah. Miss Wanda gonna talk about so I'm glad Mel didn't come and crash your event. Mel wouldn't have came okay, and crashed. Nah, she's not gonna put us up uh -uh. like that. Nah. No. She got she got one leg up on Tiz too. Yeah, oh she hell no. Never she, did that. she wasn't giving her that benefit of doubt. Yeah. So we see y'all next week. Like I said, be safe y'all straight from the VA. The dirty dirty south. Two up, two down. Holla. Ooh. Boom.